This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Mittens. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Hey Chris, it's Guys here. Welcome back to another fish tank review. Rapachi and I are here to make sure that your week starts off just right. And you know what would start this video off just right is smashing that like button. Thank you very much. So without further ado, fish tank review. That was pretty cool. SNES fish tank. Oh, you read that correctly. Somewhere in the world, there's an idiot <laughs> like this guy. Uh, doubles as a fish tank. Okay, this does not go against anything we know about electronics. I mean, it's ingenuitive, I'll give them that, but I don't think they need to put uh, goldfish in there. What is the reason of putting goldfish in an SNES? You would think gaming and goldfish, there's no correlation, right? Well, you would be wrong, man. All this work, all this work, just to put a few goldfish to their doom. This just shows the length that people would go to, would strive for, just to abuse some fish. This is a very elaborate fish torturing dungeon. I dare say this is probably the most thought out and elaborate and technical fish abuse contraption we've ever seen on this show. What do you guys think, huh? I mean, the dude is still going. This guy could have cured cancer by now, or would you rather have some goldfish living in SNES? <laughs> Tired of playing games alone, but don't have friends to enjoy game time with. So why is that so cringe? That's more cringe than an SNL skit. They'll be with you for quite some time. And of course the cherry on top, that f these fake little plants. They'll be with you for quite some time, maybe one or two games before they die, maybe half a game of Mario Kart. Rainbow Road is way past their lifespan in this console. Who needs the PS5 when you can have this amazing contraption? Tank is okay, but the TV tray is the real MVP. Yeah, that's right. I have very conflicted feelings about this tank. First of all, it's got live plants and it's a big tank, but then the gravel looks like some nerds seaweed edition candy which th that sounds disgusting <laughs> that sounds absolutely horrendous it looks understocked it's a big tank and it looks like everything's being done right on the inside the utilities but then there's a spongebob decoration right in the corner and then they've got night crews they got double night crews on this baby and if you know me i'm a huge sucker for night crews because they're a very nice entry level uh, planted tank light that is very cheap on amazon and it's very accessible and everyone can use it so that is a huge plus for me but then just opposed to buy the little tv tray that is on i've had this before as well i've put my fish tank and was on this like small little bench that it was going uh, outside of its perimeters so you know overhanging like this for some time i've been convincing myself it's okay nothing's gonna happen but if i'm being honest every day i go to sleep i kind of wonder is this thing gonna shatter by morning and am i gonna have a huge pile of mess of a fish tank on the floor nowadays i don't know how people can live knowing that their fish tank is on something this flimsy please consider upgrading your stand thank you Consider upgrading to a real stand, not one of these fake stands. Why is this real? Why did I do this? <laughs> what? what did you do? Wait, are you serious? Did you print out my face and put it as your backdrop? <laughs> not a natural backdrop. Dun dun. It's very funny though, but I don't know if your fish or any of your stocking choices in here are going to appreciate having to look at my face for the rest of their lives. Not to mention, not my best face. Definitely not my cutest moment. This fish looks super judgmental. Oh yeah guys, I'm super excited to share with you that I got a new pet. Okay, some of you are like, Chris, you're just getting pets left and right here. Just hear me out, okay? I think you're gonna really love this next pet I got. I got Tofu, the Seiru Stone. It's my pet rock. Bruh. SpongeBob, check out my new snail. Patrick, your snail is a rock. Yeah, thanks, I know. He's got nerves of steel. Some of you might recognize Tofu from the previous build. Previous build in the Cube Garden 60p. I also dropped Tofu off of my balcony a few times to break it up 
into smaller pieces to use in the aquascape? No hard feelings, Tofu. You are the best and most useful pet rock. Pet score submission by Evan Pelzer. Not a very clear photo, but I got the general gist of your fish tank and it actually looks quite nice. It's a pretty big fish tank sporting one single, looks like a Dumbo beta male. Looks very spacious. Water lettuce looks amazing and it's a really good floating plant. I've never actually got my hands on any of them, but one day, I, I hope I will. It would go really well in my goldfish mini pond. Although I can't see the scape, the whole picture of your fish tank, it looks pretty good and I think I'm going to rate it a 4.5 out of 5. Also, this is a closer up shot of their betta fish. Very cute, very healthy. And it's got a ghost shrimp in the back. Photobombing. I can't even be creative on a title with this one. Heartbreaking. Ooh. They ask you. Okay. Yeah, that. Okay, looks like it's got some goldfish on the bottom and there's barely any water left. It kind of looks like they're going for a paludarium sort of feel, like they want a double feature, a land feature and a water feature, and that's why they've kept the water so low. That is definitely not the way to go. You don't make a paludarium this size with that little water and put goldfish in it. If anything, you put some guppies in a tank that's a little bigger than that, but you can keep the water a little lower. And it's not rocket science, it's because guppies are smaller, they have less bio load, and if you just put one or two guppies, it should be okay. Like, I feel like that doesn't even need too much research. Goldfish poop a lot, and they get huge, so don't put them in small gallons of water and not even fill up the whole fish tank. On the other hand, I am really curious to know if those plants are actually real, because if they're real living plants, then what the hell? It looks like they are flourishing in this fish tank somehow. I can't get my aquatic plants to grow immersed like that. Pet score submission by Garrett Simcox. The first thing I noticed were the discus, of course. They're beautiful. I don't know if they're fully grown discus. This tank actually does look a little small. It, it looks like they're juvenile discus in a tank that is not supposed to be their full-sized adult tank. I could be wrong, you can correct me on that. Maybe there's some sort of dwarf discus that I don't know about. I'm not in the whole discus community, but I just want to point that out. If those discus are not adult sized, they're going to grow in really fast and they're going to overpopulate this tank by a large margin. Because if I had to guess, I would say this is a 10 gallon. Hardscape is actually pretty nice. 4.5 out of 5, keep it up. Display tank in a local pet store. Massively overstocked tanks and multiple dead fish in other display tanks. What in the world? Are you sure this is a display tank? I can't believe that's a display tank. First of all, why would there be so many fish in the display tank when they could be sold to the customer? Because you're not supposed to sell anything in your display tank to the customer. So there's really no reason why to overstock it with all this fish. That could be actual merchandise. This is taking profits out of the store. Second of all, this shows that they suck at fish keeping. They don't know what the heck they're doing. That is severely overcrowded. Other than that, it might actually look like a pretty decent planted tank without all the goldfish. For some reason, why is there so many goldfish in there? I cannot believe for a second this is a display tank. That's ridiculous. We got some comments for this picture. I have never been to fish shops selling fish or pets that didn't have dead fish in their tank. I think it's because many overstock the tanks. Yeah, that's true. New shipments come and all the tanks are basically overstocked, but they have, they should have a very robust filtration system going to negate the effects of that overstocking, plus a lot of water changes. When stores open, they always do a general check for dead fish and take them out. Fish will also die during the day and at night, especially new stocking because they just traveled quite far. On the contrary, I avoid shops that have dead fish visible in their tanks. Good local fish stores will not have dirty sale tanks with dead fish. A dead fish here and there is one thing, but it should not be a super common occurrence. Well, as I said, I never been to a LFS where I haven't seen a dead fish, at least one in one of their tanks. Okay, okay, I think these arguments are getting a little off topic because what I am focused on is that this is called a display tank. Now some fish stores, actually most fish stores, they don't have display tanks. All of the tanks that you see are holding merchandise. There are a few more premium or upscale fish stores that do have display tanks, and those are literally for display purposes. You can't buy things that are in it, and it's supposed to show you just how beautiful you can keep your fish tank at home. And for me, I have never been to a local fish store with a display tank that has something dead inside of it, or that didn't look marvelous. If your local fish store has display tanks that have fish that are dead in it, run. Run as far as you can. The bonus secret comment of this video is 
Angelfish. Pets course submission by Luxmania. Beautiful, gorgeous tank. Looks like you're going for the Dutch aquarium style. You got some newly planted carpeting plants that looks like they're going to be taking off sometime soon. You got the CO2 injection, so I don't doubt it. Very nice docking choice. It is a, it is still a work in progress, but I'm going to rate it a 4.6 out of 5 for now. Keep it up. When all of your fish tank lights shuts down at the same time on a mechanical timer. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That is number one reason of why you should put all your lights on a timer. Sadly for me, I cannot do this because the reality of it is a lot of your fish tanks are going to have different needs depending on the stocking, depending on how much CO2 injection or plants are in it. Uh, case in point, my three tanks in the back all have different photo periods, so they can't all go on at the same time and go off at the same time. Sad, I know. Pets course submission by Natalia Nike. Very interesting. I don't think I've seen a tank like this. Just blatant. Nothing holding back vertical hardscape that's shooting right up like Easter Island head. I think there could be some nuance to that um, because both of those vertical statues are shooting up and they're kind of the same height that kind of takes the balance and the naturalistic feel out of it and I know you're trying to go for something naturalistic because you caught life plants for days. You got a lot of life plants. Looks like a solo beta tank this is great. Perfect. 4.3 out of 5. Keep it up. After a male octopus breeds with a female, he develops dementia. He then lives the rest of his life confused with apparently no knowledge of previous events. Is this true? I've heard a lot of interesting facts about octopus, octopi, but I definitely didn't know they the, the males develop dementia and live their life confused after mating and forgetting about everything? That sounds so sad. On the other hand, that sounds like just upscale post-nut clarity. <laughs> Maybe too clear. Pull it back a little bit, bros. You don't want to get that clear. Not to the point where you get dementia. Dementia isn't... Okay. Niels Spoders sent this on Petscord, the corner heavy scape, uh, branching out to the rest of the aquarium. I think you can go for some longer branches that have more character in it, so not too straight and not too short. This looks a little stubby. However, it does give it that natural look. It's not too perfect, just because nature isn't also perfect, right? It might need some maintenance work done. It might need some more water changes. Looks like some interesting stocking. I'm not sure what those cichlids are in the front there. Four out of five, keep it up. When these were purchased, they were finger sized. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with you. I'm sure they were. That's why you have to do your research. That's why you make sure you know exactly what you're buying. You wouldn't eat something without knowing if it's edible first, right? You're not like dying on your deathbed and you're like, oh, this looked edible when I put it in my mouth. They looked finger sized when you purchased it for your five gallon. What's the common theme here to fix both these problems? Do your research beforehand. A spacious 10 gallon. Now, this guy is in a precarious position, okay? He is basically doing his research because people, uh, he's, he's realized that there's something going on with goldfish and not being able to put a lot in one tank. It's a big no-no, at least on the online community. So he's trying to do something about that. So he gets one for his 10 gallon aquarium, but now he's stuck in a rock and a hard place because the people who believe that goldfish should not be put in a 10 gallon, they're not gonna be happy with this. So he has not made peace with the people who actually properly care for goldfish. On the other hand, he's not made peace with his homies and with the people who know way less, they don't know what they're doing because they're gonna come over and they're gonna see this and they're gonna call him out like, dude, you have such a big fish tank. Why do you only have one? Why can't you put more fish in it? It's lonely, it needs a friend. So. Not only is he not getting along with fish abusers, this poor fish owner, he's also not getting along with people who do things the right way. This guy can't win. I'll tell you how he can win though. Do your research. I zoomed in on someone's Cozy Places post. What's Cozy Places? Is that the next OnlyFans? I don't wanna know. They look like they have a pretty cool rig set up for podcasts. Every time they look to their left, they see that hellhole of a fish tank. Guys, thank you for tuning in to this week's fish tank review. Hope it started your Monday off just right. Put a smile on your face. There you go. And thanks for watching all the way till the end, helping to push that algorithm and help this channel reach new heights it's never seen before. All time highs, baby. Okay, the secret comment of this video is discus. Look out for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot from Karasiformes to Paracharodon. Hold on, there's
There's not another fish that you can wish for Live fam says I finna one I finna gone three days without furt I'm an addict like fanatic I'm a baddest No tabs only dirt My Cory gang so loyal Black tetra go skirt We came to play came to silence gang